get a lead at maintaining that pressure. And it really, you know, when when we all looked up back in the green room and we saw the Ace Terrorblade building Battle Fury, we're all like, all right, I don't know. Because he got that Battle Fury at, uh, I think it was 1830. And from there, he actually got SNY like five minutes later. 90% of his hero damage was after the 25 minute mark because largely because he was allowed to go that very greedy build up, felt no pressure remaining. for the next seven or eight minutes. And all of a sudden he shows up with that second item to fights and he's already hitting and he's hitting people. I guess it starts making sense when we think about Lich, why they picked it, right? They just wanted yep. to stall the game Slow out the so game that down. he could farm. And they don't really have any heroes for Liquid unless you're just running out with aggressive song. They actually didn't have like those to hunt you when you're pushing. They mostly had like kind of five man push. That was really interesting to me from a human view is that when you look at the two teams in their respective booths right now, they're both quite serious, both quite concerned right now. There's not one team kind of buoyed by the last game or buoyed by the fact that they won the first game. It's 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 pretty serious. I it? mean Miracle the, the game ended in Miracle was still like smiling and laughing. Like, yeah. These two teams they have a lot of respect for each other. And they've also been on the stage. That's what makes the I mean, Matu ain't he's worried, He's kind of bored. No, he's just, he knows he's just playing Razor again, right? He's like, I'm Razor. I am Razor or Viper. Uh, we were talking, uh, Cap and I, just before the... Uh, just after the break, actually, about the heroes that haven't been picked and who we might see uh, come out of that pool. Pa, pa. I'll say the Bristleback. I, oh, I said, because there are a couple of teams left that do play the Bristle. That's, I honestly uh, think... Ace used to but play. the likely ones are probably mm -hmm. what? Shadow Demon? Shadow Demon is yeah. the big one for me. Magnus, yeah. maybe? Five I could see Mag. Uh, maybe see one Mag. I think maybe a Silencer? Shadow Demon, Mag, Silencer, and Phoenix. I know that's secret okay. like Phoenix. Yeah. Fada really likes yeah, to play sorry. that hero. We're not going to say. Huskar. Maybe Huskar is the other one, isn't it? You might get a, a cheesy pick. Huh. Huskar 5. Liquid Band Pugna. Wow. <laughs> the respect. He's like, are they just going to pick Razor then? If they pick Razor, we get Tire Blade plus one. If they don't pick Razor, we're going to take the Razor. What happened to our boy Gyrocopter? He was all the rage. Five seconds I'd, remaining. Yeah, I mean, the, the numbers don't look that bad, but I just felt like first phase Gyro was getting... Even when, even when it won, it, they weren't winning because of the Gyro. I mean, even like, you know, before. Okay. They, left, they left a real bit. Well, I mean, the first, <laughs> first pick Yapsor Hero worked out in the last game. They did. He owned the game. Yeah, that was an MVP performance, wasn't it? And it, yeah. it's, you know, it, it, he was really, really, really good. I will not take one iota away from that, but the ability of the team to be able to follow up on non-trivial is... We got the change. Okay. And and the Chen, this is, again, it's a it's a hero that's been getting banned a lot, especially against the in Liquid. They they don't always pick it. But mm -hmm. it is a, it, so much, the common denominator in the first few games has been so much about tempo. And I think the Chen is a great hero in terms of forcing the tempo. Five seconds remaining. I'm just happy already that we get to see a Yapso. And they take that. Decent Fada so far. Okay. Take Fada's bat very early. On five is. out of six so far. Something you commented though on the, the yes. give Fata a good game. Ten seconds. Well, we'll see if he does have a good because. They could still pick up the other support and a different uh, core to match up against them. Well, yeah, the, the core is the big deal, right? They're just, that's one of the big concerns with Batrider, that there, there are just the cores that dumpster him so hard in lane. The, the Weaver, the Lifestealer, the Slark, now two of those, not meta at all. Why'd you chuckle there, Cal? Because that's zooming on Puppy. <laughs> Get into the mind of Puppy. It really was zoom trying in. to. Uh, I would be a bit concerned if, like, say, I know some teams were big on the actually be Razor, even though the laning phase is bad. If, like, Razor gets banned and put their line scary on the Terra. They're also it, setting up this Tower Blade to have a beautiful game, banning Timbersaw now as well, and on top of that, Pugna in the first phase. Yeah. The Make Terrorblade shine. Well, there, there have been at least a couple of games of this tournament, the one against the Optic Broodmother, where Liquid have basically done exactly what Secret did in the last game and said, okay, we've got a Terrorblade. If we can just hold out, mm -hmm. eventually he's going to give us at least a chance to win. And of course, <laughs> or he could buy Rapier and end the game in one minute.
uh, Sand King and Beastmaster, I think, are like the two heroes that I think are most enabled by Chen SK Band, in this current course. patch. I just I think Beastmaster. Beastmaster is the one hero that we haven't seen as I expected. That hero is just really, really good, even without the, the coddle. The big teams that play it, though, it does get banned a lot versus them. True. This. Uh, that's, that's part of why I, I thought that this tournament was more wide open is the regional metas qualifiers recently have become, were so much more different. Team secrets turn to ban. So, Dragon Knight too. If Razor's on the table, I mean, I think, I think Liquid can still take it for sure. That's good versus the All right, fair enough, fair enough. But I wouldn't put it past them picking him. I think this is more likely a Matu Viper game. The bat. Yeah, okay. let's take it above them. Then they can group up. And it's an early game. Focus hero. I need yeah, to take out the that beast. Ban. Yeah. It's just that, more that I think of it, the, the, there's so much in the pool that gives that problem. You got the Abaddon and the LC2, you got the Venge. Which Liquid can still run as a support. I guess Kuro is their Kuro's their Chen player. Probably not. Five Although I I don't know they ran they ran mind control on what was essentially a support Ventral Spirit the other night. Okay. It doesn't give Rubik any good spells to steal. He pretty much has like Sunder. You don't like Mini Terrorblade? I mean Mini yeah, Terrorblade. Hey, the, the Chen spell the Chen spells are okay. They're a bit they're a bit weird. Turn to pick. Do the Undying again. Okay. Uh, there Maybe they're are doing several some... really big team fighters that would make, but it would at least ensure that. You I think they want to. I think with the Undying, they want to do like what dual pressure with the Bat Rider yeah, to, for to sure. shut down yes. the Terror Blade. So then they have to put the Terror Blade in mid, and they have Five to get like. Uh, said it earlier. Yep. I think, life think they have to do that, right? I think Lifestealer could be an option dodge. for Matu. Lifestealer yeah. versus Undying and Bat in the lane. We've already got one vehicle in the Earth. I think dual PL, surely dual PL terribly. PL is still on the board and he does give the end. I think it's like Lifestealer or Viper for Matu. I think okay. they want something that just doesn't. I can just mix. Yeah, okay. If that's. Yeah. All right. The puck. I, I still, I don't, I, I don't think they've committed to where the puck is going. More probably more than likely offline, would you say? I, I think because of the Chen, it is very much enabled. Here. Ten seconds remaining. Gives you early game, gives you initiation. Five and uh, I believe it's not. It doesn't give you the same kind of pressure that Sand King and Beastmaster does, but Ooh. like Puck still gives you that oh, combo. Oh my! Visage. Yep. First Visage pick secret this year. Hero that we've seen on the rise recently. 5K plus pubs. Highest, or highest winning, pitch, I believe. I don't think you're this threatened one. by the Chen Puck aggro if you're the Ace Visage. Visage almost feels like a dead lane hero to me because of how tanky he gets. Gravekeeper's cloak, and then in this case, you don't have like that clear initiating stun, so he slows you down and runs. Away. So, with the visage, do we still have the possibility of these for either side here? Worried all about Turn to broods and the meepos. I, I guess so. the drow could have been, yeah, liquid drow okay. ranger. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what happened at Dreamhack. Liquid actually were the one drow, and they got under. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. The mid one here. It's a hard start for a tinker game. 
Same goes with OD. Just so the, those uh, traditional wait, mid counters to TD are a little. Fit here? Maybe. Do we know? Are, are, are we sure that Ace is their Visage player? I guess he's like. He's like a micro intensive player. He's the anyway. micro guy. That's, so, the yeah. only, that's why we would think it, but okay. I guess it could. I've, I've seen it. Okay. I, I was reasonably sure that that was going to be the case, but I wanted to. Double I mean. Not for the ear spirit, it's a good mid 1 TA. Hmm. Really burning on. Oh, OD. OD for secret. Right? That's what I was saying. OD? But I think it's still. Oh, uh, did you say that? I'm sorry. The <laughs> pressure from the early. Yeah, they, they, they but still you ban could, the. Sorry, okay. Like, those are still traditional. Yeah. Yeah. So they still ban the Viper. So that, yeah. Does that mean that the Visage commit? I mean, Viper is one of those heroes that makes. Not. Break the Gravekeeper's yeah. Cloak. You have you don't even have to break it. Your spell is just net. Five seconds remaining. Sure. Mm. This is this. Is they need someone who wins them the game right now. Yes. Exactly. These other heroes, they can fight, they can do all that. But have, like, as for visage. ending the game. Oh, oh Lycan for secret. <laughs> if, if, if the... Uh... That's, that's gross. Team into... Yeah, that's really bad. Okay, and they it, the secret will take the vent. Yeah. So early game pressure. It, it, do you know, I, I just noticed so much in these drafts how the, the tempo shifts dramatically in the last couple of things. I think that's the mark of a great draft. Pick for liquid. To round out the draw. Ten seconds remaining. Gyro, gyro feels pressured by the. Five seconds bench. remaining. That was a good gyro versus. But so so many of the other Matu heroes are either out or countered. I don't think you want life stealer. Lone druid it feels too slow going along with the terror blade. Oh, there's the brute. I was okay. So, you wow. always have to watch cheese with those two teams. Does brute create can enough space in with, this game for Darablade? Can they deal with brute and lane though? Genuine concern on some faces among Team Secret players there, and uh, a little bit of concern, I'm sure, on our panel members because it's time for them to choose. Uh, Adam, we'll start with you. I. Don't, I am not sure they can deal with the Broodmother in lane. I'm going to go Liquid. Do you think what, they match Broodmother against the... Uh, Reverse Visage. They try and get, they're going to try to get that. Yeah, they're yes. going to try and get yeah. that. And in turn, you try and get that versus Brood. Set up. Mm -hmm. Sorry, who... Uh... Who can dodge? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the hardest drafting calls I've ever seen. It's a secret. Remaining. Broodmother. Liquid. All right, okay. Very tough draft to analyze. Very tough draft to figure out. These two men have definitely put their mental acumen against each other. Talking of mental acumen, we've got a couple of men in the cast of Boo. Are you ready for this game three? I'm ready. Blitz is, Blitz is the mental side of this pairing. Uh, I'm just thinking... Yeah. It's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the panel's split, so we get mm. what we wanted, right? We get a game three when no one's certain who the victor is. Hard. Panels, you have two seconds for it. We have to start talking about it. Last last game, I had the benefit of being draft for. Yeah, and give you my. Opinion. But I will say confidently that whoever wins this is definitely gonna win, and whoever loses is the worst team of all time. And obviously, have roster, roster changes coming yeah, very they need soon. To, they need. There's yeah. no way in between. It, even yeah. though it's a game three, and it could have gone either way. Yeah. This. Is a definitive statement that it's, I feel very comfortable it's, making. It's at this point, like, obviously the cabins just have to kick themselves from the team yeah. because both Koro and Puppy are obviously the biggest weakness in absolutely everything. Yeah.
Crazy, whoever wins, I'm just saying, has the best drafter, and whoever loses <laughs> shit draft, please leave my game. Yeah, winner of this wins TI. All right, let's Which one. Let's... <laughs> that's, that's the open end, right? I can never be wrong. TI 25, everybody, TI 25. All right, so Team Secret looking to get very aggressive early on a five-man smoke gank right into the Radiant Jungle. They're going to slip between the towers as well. Yep, Soros, the man leading the way all the way through. It is a top of a mid brood mother, but they're coming. But look at the Watchman. GH has the hill right above Yapsor. The smoke will break him. He's on the other side of the tree line, and they're running. GH rolling boulders away, breaks the tree. And they just want to get the hell out of here. He even leaves an aggressive Observer Ward behind on his trip. Team Secret. Hoping for something, but they get nothing. But how's our lanes looking? So we have Kuro on the Chen up near the top. Miracles around them. But Tupperman's going to be playing the mid lane. That leaves Mind Control for the bottom lane as the puck. And then, of course, the roaming GH, who's currently playing around with Fader at the moment. Uh, he's just... Uh, Actually, he's, oh, look he's more than playing. Like, he rolling boulder initiates in. That's uh, two points up a sticky napalm. Rubik's TPing in. He's got to be quick to get the telekinesis. He's grab! No, he had to walk around the tree line. If he cut through with the tango, maybe he had the range. But Yapsaw, not going to go his way. The last laning is ace. He's going to TP down the bottom lane. And then that leaves mid one up on top as the VS. And here they go once more. Rolling boulder forward. Yapsaw's going to come in close. He's not going to be able to... Actually, he will pick up GH. Two sticky napalms once again, but this isn't going to go his way. Yeah. In a matchup of two of the best four positions in the world with signature heroes on either side. GH, he's going to strike first blood. Not the kill, but at least does a lot of damage early on. This seems to be what Team Secret were looking for, right? Like, Fada, he's no stranger to the mid lane, but it's the Brood versus Batrider matchup that Secret were looking for. How do you actually play this as well? Like, do you Firefly? Do you Flame Break? With sticky napalm, like how do you how do you combat the brood mother if you're if you're the bat rider? You just make sure that he can never get on top of you as ace oh, at bottom. He's really low. He's low. Doesn't have a salve on him either. This is pretty obnoxious to deal with. Well, to CS, Yapsor can't really do amount of damage. Doesn't really have the regen. That tangles only no salve on him either. As puppy up at top. As Miracle going in, GH rolling boulders forward, just gonna keep that slow up. The stun from mid one now puts him in harm's way, making a break for the tree line. Dekaze here, mid one, can't get enough damage as Kuro brings in the tomato, trying to get in front of Puppy and body block up his former teammate. The kick will fly in, there is no clap available, and Puppy will think to turn. Hard to kill off Hero considering he is walking around oh, with a thousand. <gasps> Life doesn't help him, double kill. For him. And Miracle at 280 HP, but it doesn't really quite matter as the Tango as a result is healing him up for uh, so puppy, much. Puppy's coming in again for for another run. There's mid one. Well, trouble behind the lines. It's uh, a two-man decay potentially, a kick, a triple, triple kill. kill for Miracle. And they can go again. Looking over towards Puppy, there's an entire Radiant Creep Wave on his tail. Rolling Boulder in one second time. GH is waiting for the right time. Here comes your Tombstone. Where's that line? GH, he knows he wants it to be perfect, and uh, he won't. In fact, he's just staying here to kill off the Tombstone on the cliff. And meanwhile, as that happened, our OBS, JJ, the real MVP of this tournament so far, did catch the tail end of that as Matama Man went down to Fada. Very nice matchup there. How long does this last, though? When Matama Man then spend, sends an army of Spidlings and Fada is now just dropping so quickly. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. I imagine he just abused the turn rate, couldn't really do too much as controlling this bottom lane. Had some success early, but with the help of Yaps or Ace, getting a little bit of control is. Liquid, yeah, that... as usual, they're going to devote a lot of their attention to just helping out their real carry. Form a miracle on the Terra Blade. We saw what he could do if he gets any sort of good lane. Yep. It's like Yapsaw's the man putting uh, in charge of keeping the mid lane at bay. That looks so weird on the mind control all the time with that cosmetic. It looks like he's got a double damage rune always active. Nice. Trying to get the rift onto Ace and slowly tick him down. Only ends up giving one charges over to Ace, but he has burned his last tango. A little bit more of an even trade-off in the lane. This top lane aggression, I'm not really feeling it. Like, mid one and Puppy together after being dived and having that Chen influence with the rotations, it doesn't seem to be the dream start. But are you, are you still okay with this if you're secret? Like, the gold advantage is going the way of Team Liquid. It's just shy of a thousand. Four minutes in. Do you still feel like you're getting enough out of the lanes? From secret's end? Yeah. I think they're okay with it. 
Three kills to one, and you're only down by like barely a K. It's not the worst thing in the world for. Grid. Liquid would really prefer Terrorblade to be a better spot when it comes to last hits. He's only got nine. Eight, nine, one. Obviously, the Broodmother's gonna get a crap ton in the mid lane. 20 to 8. Broodmother. Triple kill at least keeps him solvent. Time being. They're okay with that. Relatively even start so far, though. Well, he is number one of the network, so even the CS is down, he's the first one to crack 2k. Just a game three similar to game two. That'll be nice. Oh. Kuro is looking for a hunt. At the same time, they're right on top of that dire observer war. They may think during the nighttime phase the puppy's vision is a little more restricted. But they are definitely coming for a jump. Yapsaw's here, puppies in the neighborhood. As uh, Kuro backs out. Got a large amount of damage from both the Hadouk and Creep as well as as well as from the troll trap. They managed to grab the ward too. Dyer's Was about to fade anyway, so Speaker attack. won't be too sad about that, but yeah. Liquid lose their own as well. Mid time that, however. Come on, man. They yeah. can just move on to Fada. Gotta be careful though. Have some levels of calm on him as those that's why I'm always wondering, like, like the Broodlings can just run out of the Firefly. Like, is it sometimes worth to go higher points up in the Flame Breaks? It's okay, you get at least one so that you can bounce them back, but... Bro, not paying attention to his creeps for a second. Uh, either that or he's baiting with his creeps. Purple dude. They get, they're getting good information. Purple... Oh, unleashes. Yep, Troll Trap as well. Here comes your Rolling Boulder into the Undying. He's still got Decay available. Drops a Tombstone down with Soul Rip and Decay. Ten ticks, ticks charges. Puppy gets back to safety. Bada dies in the meantime in the mid lane as Brute Duck went underneath the tier one tower. They kill him in the tree line. JJ caught that. The tail under that. This is the reason why he's got. Uh, he's got nine monitors watching every single lane. Yeah, Puppy's puppy. in trouble. And goodbye, Puppy. Uh, nope, or oh, pick up. Yapso wants to create some space, but now he gets Tron Trap up as well. A miracle. So much damage. Here comes your rolling boulder once more. Yapso, so low. GH as well. Am I just dying? Thinking for this? about coming back in for mid one. He's the only hero that's. Like, he's only died. Actually, no, he's died twice up on this top lane out of the six kills of Liquid. GH being sent back oh. but mid lane. Look at Matama Man's <laughs> dive. So deep. Here comes. Finally. Okay. Yapso wants him. Pick him up. Throw him back in again with the AoE stun. This could be some good Broodlings dead. As the Fade Ball just continues to bounce strong, but no T1 tower available anymore. Look Hence the, the dive is so easy. Brood is doing so much right now on the map for Liquid. All of a sudden that lead has now jumped 3k. 3.5k of that is from just the Brood Mother alone. The nearest to him is Ace, so... The, the, the Visage has to start doing something more. He does have his birds up in the air. And how do you do this with a Visage? Like, what's the point of the Visage? You don't just pick this thing for, for no real reason. Like, how is he meant to be the, the critical the critical part of Secret? Uh, I'd imagine it's just because... Well, this will help. Hold that Pick dot. him up. Where's the stomps? Mind control. Phase shifts and... Okay. He'll go down. Rolling Boulder up on top. GH, a perfect double kick. Mid one and Puppy getting caught out. While mid one, silence. Needs to get a stun off. Not gonna happen. The Tombstone drops down by Puppy. A miracle. Maybe he wants to start running away from this one. Fada's rotated into the lane, and the Centome is already happening. So, expecting nerf to this more than I'm expecting a nerf to Storm Spirit. Chen sent back. Do you think that needs a nerf? <laughs> Chen just got back in the pool. Hold your horses. As Matama Man, he's going to beat away at this tower. Oh, yeah, so goodbye. Are you? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Here with a pickup, and he throws oh, it nice in. Throw. So we can go for mid one underneath the tower, but. We've seen Broodmothers already diving very, very deep in the early game. This is a massive problem that he's able to just dive under the tier 3 and they need to rotate two other heroes to try to help out. Very reminiscent of the game that VP played with Brood earlier on in the tournament with Ramses. Now Liquid off to a similar start. They own the Triumvirate. Which is one of the best farming circles in the game. Are able to hit the ancient quite easily as well. Yeah, Visage need to do something about this. I just picked up the Dominator as the first item on the Visage. Here's the problem right now for Liquids. Like, when they look the best, it's because they have these three cores that are all succeeding at the time. When you turn your attention to this Puck, you can't really gank him. You turn your attention to this Brood. Okay, sure, you're gonna have to rotate three heroes min minimum to try to kill him. And if you do that, then, well, look at top. 
Yep, they're looking to fight. Fortification buys some time. Puppy under the cover of Invis is just walking in. You've got Passage coming in through the rear as well. So Ace wants to fight. There's a fresh resummon of the birds. Sacrifice GH. damage and GH. He wants to be the sacrifice with the firefight down. They'll sacrifice the Chen army as well as GH as well as Kuro. So both the supports going down, but hey, in middle lane, Matumberman starts attacking the tier two tower. Batrider will come in. It's the end of the that firefly, but so much damage. How many spiders are there? That is an unexpected amount, as Fada just found out. You never really know until uh, you get hit. That's like 60. You, you can't no even, exaggeration. You, you can't even click them all. Like there's, there's no way even as an observer to count how many spiders are there as uh, Yabsol. Still on the run, the spies are right behind him. At least the Fables can remove some of the damage from a Tumberman. He cannot be stopped. Yeah, go kill top. This is what happens to you in mid. And it was only like a support trade-off as well on top. But you took the Chen, you took the you took the ES, and then Matumberman takes your tier two tower as well as your Batrider and your Rubik. It's a beautiful thing to see. Like you can sense, you can really sense the love How? that GH has for Miracle. And he rolls in and he's like, take me instead. I thought you were gonna be like real masochistic about that. No, it's, it's like, like it's, a... uh, no, no, it's it's the brood mother killing everyone in the mid. That's such a beautiful sight to see. No, that that one is rough. I I feel for everyone that has to play against brood, but this is getting a little bit ugly here. It's ten minutes in. Is this when you just ob sentry the mid lane? You start committing more heroes to this, but then again, you, you've got to keep the terror blade down, right? But he's still sitting at the second highest net worth at, at 5.5, 5.6k. This is a pick your poison kind of situation. It's similar to game one where if you gank one, well, there are two other cores that are succeeding in life right now. And Here secret. comes Ace going up to GH. Can't get the stun off on him as he's just rolling boulders away. Yeah. You notice, by the way, though, GH, like continuing on that theme, he pushes aggressively forward to guard Miracle at all times. Like, this is something that a lot of people don't notice about Liquid is that GH, it goes beyond the saves and the kicks and everything. It's that he's always gonna make the aggressive move forward to scout ahead for his Terror Blade, to pop smokes, pop these rotations, to make sure. That's why it feels as though Miracle's so difficult to gank. It's because he's got a layer of protection around him at all times. There's some kind of support that's gonna tank these ganks for him that allow him to succeed. It doesn't just come down to, oh, Miracle owns the game. It's that his supports consistently put him in this kind Taking of position. Miracle, initiated on. He's, uh, birds, they're not going to drop just yet. Not when Chen's right behind him. I also love Yapsaw fighting back now with his own spiders. The supports are creating an army. Probably the best ability you can steal at the moment. They're going to smoke up. They need to get something done on the map. They can 100% sense how far behind they are right now. It's already 9k. They know that they're not slowing down any of the three cores. This is a large issue, but they Ooh. might just walk into Roshan and get quite a big pickup here. Yeah, if they can, change to the neighborhood. Wave of Terror flies in, but Matoma just walks over the hill, but they'll find Koro. He's got double stuns available. Matoma wants to come back into the fight. Puppy in the midst of it all gets kicked by GH. He does have a soul up. There's so there many units so many around units. there, but it won't matter when VS is trapped in inside the Dream Coil. Batrider at least gets some kind of rebuttal as Miracle has his streak being ended. There's just now, zombies everywhere. Yeah, and so many spies. I think half of them belong to Yapsaw. They fight forward, going towards GH. The spiders are really fighting back. They can go back in for Roshan. As Team Liquid, they actually lose a couple of heroes. Mind Control just orbs over the top. That is so many spiders. I think they can actually do this with this. They're trying They're trying to kill Roshan. This is how you, you have Terra Blade back up. He's, uh, we've got a TP already on the way out. That puff damage, Barter on the back lines. He got silenced up, but it's not going to be enough. He still, still takes to the air. And these familiars, they're hunting the Broodmother. They want to keep the chain stuns going. Meanwhile, a little bit further to the north is mid one in real trouble. Surrounded by three heroes. He cannot get himself out of it. And now Liquid with five heroes want to battle around Roshan Ace. Stands his ground against Matubberman. He takes the damage. He's fine with this one as well as they continue just to battle forward. Vada magnetized. The Soul Rip cannot keep him alive. And Yabsaw got a stray rock to the back. He wants to move down, but he just doesn't have the movement for it. Now his team secret with a couple of heroes on the sidelines. Firefly is going to come off cooldown. Just but I think, it's, I think it's too late to, to actually contest Roshan. Yeah. They're all leaving. When they could contest, it was off the back of a very nicely placed tombstone from Puppy and just the sheer amount of spiders that Yapsor had managed to build up. I don't think Liquid expected that at all. Miracle got surrounded. A lot of people's worst nightmares. 
Let's now get the Roshan 8k gold lead. Secret, that was a semi-successful fight. Not quite what they were hoping for. They really wanted was the Roche themselves, but no way that Liquid was going to give that up as they know that the ward is placed. It gave more value to Ace, probably more than anything else. The fact that he was able to survive through all of that, like there's two kills to his name, he's now third on the net worth board. He still hits quite hard, but TP is on the other team this time around. Yeah, it's, uh, that's the downside. And mid one feels like he's got no presence. He's actually got less net worth than the Rubik. And here comes the Broodlings. Mid one, perfect time to TP out the oh. kick. Oh, it's in a fraction of a second before the TP was going to complete. Yeah, the timing on that was... Oh boy. All right. Yeah. It's getting rough out here. I think Mind Control is thinking about a jump on bottom. He wants to put that Blink Dagger and Dream Call to use. Here too, Tower is gone. The bottom lane is the only remaining out of towers for Team Secret. They have to be able to hold the line. And it's not like they have the counter, which we saw being played before when, like, when we had, what was it, Lip, Lip, Liquid versus Optic, or Keeper of the Light, early, uh, early blast points, just held back the wave. The problem with this game for Secret is that in the last game, being able to hold high ground meant that they had the late game. They were able to hold the high ground and play that kind of style because they had the late game. But now it's late game versus Terra Blade. Exactly, and that's why you're seeing them, in the last game they just held and they chilled. But in this game, you're seeing them go for these aggressive smokes because they realize, well, I don't think we win the late game either. And if we don't win the late game and we're not winning this laning phase, well, what is our lineup meant to accomplish? Yep. They have to try and fight. There's no other way around it. So Ace, he comes down the bottom lane. Yep, so it's going to hold in the tree line. And Dying also in the neighborhood. But Mind Control is not going to take this one. And if they do want to just hold this line, Matumba's happy, right? Like he's farming the entire Dire Jungle. Terrorblade's now up to level 11. Just about to crack 10k worth of net worth 16 minutes into the game. They need that instant control on mine, mind control. But how do you do that? Like, even mid one, he's a projectile stun. Yep, so the only one. The so mind control will jump in, orbs into the tree lines. The familiars looking for him. They need the first stomp. There it is, second stomp. Magic missile follow up. Mind control will drop. And the tier, the tier one tower will follow through. So that's it. A way for mind control to be aggressive. You need these little by little. This is how you're going to come back into this game. It's not going to be any big sweeping motions. It's going to be these mini pickoffs that hopefully lead into more. They were able to get it's a, a tower nine, off that it's too. It's a 900 gold swing and 1100 experience swing. Yeah. So, it works. You don't need a lot of them. Bardo's Jeez. got some information. Invis room, Broodmother's just sitting up on the roof and uh, Sentry Ward. There's your Firefly up. They need to get that lasso. And the Spiderlings as well want to try and come back down again. Ace got sniped out in the meantime, but that perfect magic missile. Broodmother goes down, but it's only for the Aegis of the Immortal. You go high ground if you're liquid. Well, they just burned Tombstone, so it may be a good idea. They got a minute, a minute opportunity. There's no Firefly either. You have Fate Bolt and Illusionary Orb, so uh, Yapsaw can push that wave back by himself. I think Liquid just runs in though. There's the Illusionary Orb, Fate Bolt. There's a couple of spies to that as well. Okay, they they were like, okay, we have the <laughs> same idea of Blitz, and then they immediately turn tail there. It's like this doesn't work. Also fun to watch Yapsaw pick up a, uh, a different item this first instead of like that straight up Blink initiation, going for a Yule Scepter on the Rubik survive right now. I don't know, they need a lot of things to survive right now. Right, it's working on a little bit to help the team. Like, poor Puppy can't really do much. This is maybe the poorest I've seen mid- Personally, anyway. He's still got the mango because, well, I mean, why not? Like, when you're, when you're that far behind, a mango is a significant item in your inventory rough for you. Smoke gank is on. Yapsol trying to use that 460 movement speed to get initiations. Need to defend this bottom tower. They're hoping yeah. to catch somebody from Liquid unawares, but... They're already backing up, and I'm not certain if they did actually scout it out, but there was an Observer Ward, which was catching just the very edge of one of the team's team players when they smoked. They might find Mind Control here, too, if they can get the lift. Yapsol's gonna follow him with the Illusionary Orb, but Mind Control's gonna blink dagger. You can't keep up with that. Even a double damage rune now for uh, terribly. He's like, yeah, she's leaving it there for a bit. Merlini wants me to do that. It's illusory or ah, uh, Ben, go back to retirement. I remember he used to get so upset whenever he said illusionary. Yeah. 
Shit happens. It's all, but right. Okay, I'll we'll accept that. The Lee Wu clan will accept. <laughs> yeah, when are you gonna join your house? <laughs> Another time, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> A discussion to be had off stream. <laughs> All BKB right. almost complete though, on this brood. Hacking Impsept is also approaching Grace. I'm not sure if that's going to be like the biggest upgrade for him though. All right, well Chen just passed the bench. If you just blank this right now, you'd say, "Wow, mid one's playing mid Rubik." No. But no, he's, that is in fact he's playing support. Like we're actually going back to the old school days where Rubik was the mid laner. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is like you just tuned in right now, you'd be. We are not used to mid one put position. That point when mid one has to start sacrificing himself, and like, is that is that also when you think about the shadow blade build? Like if this is actually the way to go, because he doesn't have enough damage, so you just turn him into like full utility and just give oh, the power to Yapsol. One hundred percent. He just goes for shadow blade and looks. It's one of the best items at increasing his damage for cost, and it allows you to get the burst off. Neon Miracle as got one component of it. Hard anyway. We're gonna go for a Lincoln so that he stops Yapsor's immediate lift and he's gonna be the one sent to deal with these waves. Probably the most expendable out of Ooh. everyone is mind control. Oh my god, he just jumped straight in. If Yapsor can get the telekinesis grab, then mind control is dead, and there's the grab. Mind control is dead. Support's coming in. It's the double damage terror blade. Run, Ace, run! Your support is gone. I mean your mid laner is gone. Poppy's turning around. They still have a fair amount to fight with. As Miracle, he's got Sunder and 17 one charges, and they want to keep fighting because top lane, but Tubberman was pushing mid one, and mid one cannot defend this by himself. Otto though. Yeah, he's he's staying around a very long way. He's got no maneuverability items apart from movement speed of drums. Did it just tank up a little bit? I've seen Bat Riders do this. He doesn't want to just get into the center of everyone. And I think he's actually sort of correct, Toby. Because if you imagine in this game, if he jumps mid one, or uh, Miracle, he'll just die immediately. The Brutal will foreshot him while he's doing so. So instead, try and at least give some kind of aura to your team that will allow them to survive. Yeah, exactly. You have another initiation in the form. At this point, mid one will gladly sacrifice his life if it means that his swap will lead to a kill for on Team Liquid. And then later on, they can think about their jump initiating items. Uh, Team Secret, just full defense. At least they've stemmed the bleeding. The the graph is starting to flatline a little bit more at around 12 to 13k advantage. So the Agonims is up now for the Visage. Putting the three familiars to work. Deboarding, split pushing. Adding some pressure to Team Liquid. And I, I don't even think it's like to say like, hey, well, we're just going to take this late game by split pushing out. It's to buy space for moments like this. The four men smoke up by Team Secret and they got a fantastic target. Oh, no, the swap range. He doesn't have it. That you, is you, you, he's can, just, you can see him start and he just walked out of range. He's so close to level 12 as well. Oh. That would have been the kind of kill that you get back into the game off of because that would have led to the mid tower. You open up the map even more. These little moments that are not breaking the secrets way in this series. Yep. They really needed that. Even though the Manda style is on the Terror Blade, it's so he would have still been a very difficult target to kill. He would have been a lot easier than he is now. The BKB's coming out to Miracle. Timing on that would have been perfect. Right before the BKB, they find him completely isolated alone. It would have even slowed down the BKB by getting that kill. And taking the tier one tower probably. Now it's liquid that go for the offensive smoke. Yep. Game. They know Roshan can spawn up sometime soon. It's one minute. Here comes uh, the Broodmother right underneath them. The Tombstone is up, but Ace is the one that just gets obliterated in the mid lane. Puppy will follow up. That is a Dagon build over on the puck. And everyone is running home. Yeah, just blink. Can you reach anyone though? That Rider is the one underneath the Observer Ward. So yeah, GH, blink forward. Bada, drum charge. Wand is unfortunately for him sitting inside of his backpack, so he cannot use the charges. He switched it out, so we end up having the TP scroll instead. Matamban just BKBs and walks out. Going in very, very deep. It was the dream call of Rubik, which he actually snapped too. A little bit too deep there for Team Liquid. Yeah, but some of the buybacks. 
especially by Ace. This is going to force Liquid without any BKBs. Go in full retreat mode as mid one finally finishes up that Shadow Blade that he for and Matumba Man parked inside that Roshan pit. Next major. Five seconds to Rosh. <laughs> nice game. They smoked up and uh, they were just out of range of the Observer Ward. So Chen, where's this swap? Three seconds is still on cooldown. They get stunned up on the way through. It's the Kuro army. The kick comes forward from GH, only connecting onto Ace. Roshan has just spawned up. Millions need to do some work. Team Liquid, they smoke on their side of the river. That was very visible to Team Secret. I don't think they were trying to hide that, Toby. <laughs> no, they really weren't. <laughs> Crimson Guard, though, completed on the Spat Rider. It's going to be very nice to play against both the Brute and the Terror Blade. But initiation is going to be the key here as mid one. He's going to walk in. Yeah. See what he can get as one singer, single spiderling is going to scout out everything as secret. This feels desperate. They're starting. Team Liquid are just outside the door. Terribly will send an illusion. It's like they're trying to force the fight and then go on and go on to a target. But the Chen army, the spies, is too easy to scout. Roshan low, one third of his life. They've still got issues with all these bloody broodlings. The Fade Bolt will get rid of it. Either team willing to give this up. They know that this can oh, potentially swap. be the game. There it is, but Miracle! He got his BKB off in time, plus the mana style. So much damage incoming. Mid one will fall. The Batrider will fall directly after, and so will Ace. Three huge heroes. Four heroes for Secret gone. Yep, saw the sole survivor to TP home. Team Liquid. That may have just sealed the deal. That was a beautiful fight as Miracle. All you had to do was press BKB, hit Reflection. He's in the middle of five different heroes, Toby. They have no form of control available for him. That will allow them to bring him down. So much damage on the side of Liquid. Very well executed draft. 22k up as they will start marching down. Ace has no buyback. Secret are now facing the inevitable tide of Liquid. Yep. They're going to get washed away at this rate. Yep, so... He's looking, but there's not much he can do. He's got a Ghost Scepter for protection, plus the Yule Scepter pop. He's looking at it too. Don't worry, you got a core alive. You got the Vengeful Spirit up and kicking, but your mid racks down for the count. Team Liquid will rotate up towards the top. Bat Rider is also alive. Drum charge to burn. They don't have the Visage up just yet. Quick fortification, just trying to stall up some time. Metamorphs has still got another one third duration. GH! So good! The three men blink to kick! And that is most definitely the game. Team Secret have nothing more to fight with. Mid one can sit there invisible, but he's merely a scout just watching death. Even if they want to initiate in, Miracle still got Sunder. The tier one and tier two towers, the only thing that's slowing him down. Okay, no, it's not. They're just gonna go straight in for the tier four towers. End this and force the call out of Team Secret. Liquid want to advance and they will advance. Taking out Team Secret in a 2-1 matchup. They will get the semi-final match against VG Gaming. And also the appearance on the main stage here in Katowice. Very good series, very nifty drafting by Kuro. Very well done by them overall, all three lanes. Felt like shutouts here as they embrace, they are very...